Good morning, Cyber Friend. This is Mitty Man coming at you again from Walker's Music. Yet another word for the day. We give God all the praise and glory, honor, for life, health, and strength. We thank Him for as well as it is. We also thank Him for each and every one of you, Cyber Friend, to know who you are. As you see this morning, the title of my video, Soldier for Christ. Soldier for Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say that, uh, Old Mitty Man, uh, I read something uh, on last evening that it did not necessarily say that it upset me as more that it kind of sort of angered me a little bit. Uh, I saw in there where, where I told Old Man, they had the statement of uh, death to America. And I want to say something uh, to all Christian friends and also to all of my fellow comrades, those that are very active in active duty right now, um, y'all to be strong and remember the creed. Remember the creed. I will never quit. I will never accept defeat, and I will never leave a fallen comrade behind. I'm also ready to deploy, engage, and destroy all the enemies of the United States of America. Y'all know the creed. Um, when I see stuff like that, it makes me think about now that now that I'm a veteran, no longer active, but I am active in the Army, of the, of the King of Kings. And I have those same, that same creed applied. I will never quit. I will never give up. I'm not looking for a way to escape, but I want to engage the enemy. And I don't know, uh, it's a lot of things that's going on in our world, people. And uh, I wish I knew that I could just spell it out for you line by line. But all I do know is that everything is going just according to plan, and we don't have to worry. Now, we've got a great commander now, and uh, we don't have to worry about anything that's going on, but we must engage. We must take up that bloodstained banner. Jesus, Jesus died on that cross, people, over 2,000 years ago. He just didn't die for many men, but he died for you, and, and, and he died for the whole world that whosoever would believe in him would not perish, but do everyone could have everlasting life. Now, I realize, people, and sadly to say, sadly to say, everybody's not going to accept Christ. That's, 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 the, that's in the Bible, people. That's in the Bible. We can't, change what, we can't change what it says in the Bible. But the thing that we must do, and as a... As a as a former army man, military person, and I know that the mission must be always be t job one. You always stay focused on the mission. And it's never accomplished until we have victory. There's no such thing as give up, quit. No. My body is physically and I'm mentally ready to, to accept any challenge. You know, people, even today, and I'm not saying this to brag, but I'm just saying even now, on my physical body, I keep it conditioned. Oh, I'm not trying to wait, train to be to be Mr. Olympia or nothing like that, but I'm talking about to be physically fit to do the job that God has set before me. Let me tell you something. You must be physically fit to be a soldier not only in the United States Army or any other branch of the service. You must be physically fit in the Army of God. You cannot do anything if you're sick. You cannot be a good witness when you're sick. Sickness is not for us people, but now I realize that sometimes that we do get sick, and I wish I had the answer for that. I don't. But I do know that we must, there are certain things that I think that we should do as individuals. First of all, we don't get enough rest, we don't eat right, and we don't exercise some sort of, some type of physical exercise. We don't do any of these things, but yet and still we, we expect our body to be fit, and we can go and do the work of Christ. We cannot do it like that, people. We must first do what we can do. And God will do what we cannot do. 
You see, God can perform the supernatural, but we must perform the natural. In other words, what God looks at us to do, he looks at many man, I'm going to just use myself for an example. He looked for many man to eat right. God looked for many man to get proper rest and drink water and do bodily physical exercise to keep the joints moving. Now, once I, those are things that I can do. And then these external things that beyond my control are yours. We cannot help the externals, but God can stop the externals. He can prevent these here major diseases and things that come from the pit of hell to not invade your territory. So in other words, people, we must think like a soldier because that's what we are. We are soldiers in the army of the Lord. And I always go back to my military days. It was always about the mission. Always about the mission. And I will, what? I stay ready. Remember, we must stay ready to what? Deploy, engage, and defeat at all costs. We must do that. We are, we, 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 are, we are ready to deploy. We are ready to what? Engage and destroy the enemy. Enemies of the United States. Enemies of the kingdom of God. Satan is the enemy to the kingdom of God. And at all costs, any time we are deployed, we should engage and destroy. Just as Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil, he gave us the stick. So I just thought I'd throw that out there to y'all this morning. And uh, we, Mitty Man is, uh, when I see stuff like death to America, that strikes a nerve in Mitty Man. And I'm quite sure it does with a lot of more of the, our comrades. And we've had a lot of fallen comrades. From, from, from the time we were born as a nation up until this present time, brave young men and women have given their lives, paid the ultimate sacrifice, and I don't think that we should let them have died for nothing. And I'm just praying that our nation do what right. I'm praying that uh, our President Obama, President Obama and all the cabinets and the, the legislators up there on Capitol Hill I hope that they do what is right and stand by Israel because people, it's, it's, it's very plain. It tells us, plain and simple. God told Abraham, those that will bless him, he will bless them. And those that will curse him, he will curse. People, every nation that have ever went against the nation of Israel, read your history book. They came to nothing. They were brought down. God will fight for Israel. Now, I'm not going to go into no deep discussion about that, but in the, in the event and the advent, I should say, of these blood moons that are happening right now, we are in the last phase of this thing, people. As a matter of fact, on next week, we were going to pass over. We haven't, it's a lot going on, and there's a lot of meaning behind this, hill, this hill eclipse this time. It's uh, not only Passover, but we also in the Shemitah year, though, you didn't know anything about Hebrew, you should know what I mean when I say Shemitah. In other words, and uh, we're not only Shemitah, then it's also a Jubilee year. So we got a lot of things riding on this thing. So I'm just saying, we are not to be afraid, but we are to what? Get ready to go. Deploy, engage, and destroy the enemy. People don't, I'm, many men are not searching for a way out. I'm searching for a way that I can destroy, help destroy the works of the devil. And it's going to take all of us to do that. We don't, we don't, we don't, the armor God gave us is no armor for our backside. We can't be running from the enemy. We must charge full speed of head. Full speed of head. Let us continue to keep the mission in view. The objective. Never quit. Never decept, defeat. And never leave a fallen comrade behind. Remember that. People, we do this in the church. When we start talking about each other. Be little in each other. Everybody doesn't have the same strength that you have. Neither should they be. Everybody is different. God created every one of us different. But what together, we come together, we can use our strength for a common cause, the mission. The mission is to get everybody saved. That's what Jesus said. Go ye into all the world. Preach and teach in this gospel. Just whatever I told you, that's what you, I want you to teach. That's the mission, people. That's the mission. Not to be trying to get out of here. Like so many people are teaching in the church. The only thing you hear is about how they're going to escape. Escape, but what about the ones that are lost? Oh, I'm not going to go there. This is a man saying whatever you get, whatever you get into. 
If God's not in it, please, ma'am, please, sir, come on out of it because it's going to come to nothing. Hoping to see some of you tonight in Bible study. If the Lord say so and if it be the Lord, we will, we will see you tonight in Blog Talk Radio at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's Midi Man saying peace. Goodbye.